Hey, welcome back to Woodruff Woods. Hey, we're back uh, literally in the woods here. Actually, we're near the uh, the mini wood yard. And tonight I'm just gonna buzz up some trees that I pulled out with the grapple last night. And uh, then tomorrow, well, maybe even this evening, I might pull the splitter out. We have some thunderstorms in the area, so I'm not sure how long this will last. But uh, I'm gonna try to try to knock out cutting up some rounds and, and get ready to do some splitting. So uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll stick around and uh, see what I'm up to this evening.
saw is cutting good tonight. Nice ribbons. So let's take a look at what we're cutting here. So uh, this is uh, oak. See the outside of this isn't that good, but that's actually gonna be for me, so I'm not too worried about it. Same with this bigger piece. Um, this is all part of that stuff you saw in the one video from the dump trailer. All this ash looks pretty good though. Um, you know, some of the ash right now is kind of dying out and getting punky, but this looks real solid. So I get this split up. I can probably even sell this by October. It's uh, late Ju July now. So, um, so I think, you know, I might bring over a couple more pieces of oak. I got to get that ash out of there, sit it up a little higher so I can cut it. Oh, that one over there. And then I got this pile to continue to work on. Um, there's still some ash in there, some maple, and uh, a few few logs of oak. So, you know, plenty to do here. Um, as a matter of fact, I probably should get caught up here on some of the splitting so I have some room. So uh, I'm going to get the tractor over here, lift that log up, finish that one up, and then, uh, then we'll see what we do next. I can hear thunder in the uh, distance here so this may be a very short video you can see how dark the sky is let me see if I can walk up here and show you a little bit more you can see over those trees it's getting quite dark up that way it's quite dark so uh, I think we might be at least getting back towards the garage for a little bit just to see what happens but you know I got a pretty good pile of wood here to to split up I have that uh, and I I'm convinced it's ironwood or hop hornbeam um, I'm convinced that's what this species is uh, a friend of mine he thinks it's uh, he actually well, look at this uh, we got a deer right here 
Uh, he actually thinks it's shag bark hickory, but boy, I, I looking at that, I really don't think that shag bark hickory. Anyway, I'll give you a look here at the deer. She's probably, I know it's hard to judge with these cameras, but she's probably about 20, 25 yards from me. She knows I'm here, but doesn't seem to care. Um, I wonder if she's the one eating uh, our tomato plants. Um, but, you know, uh, we live in the woods and so do they. So uh, it's, it's their territory first. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to the uh, back to the garage before the lightning starts. Uh, with the thunder, there has to be lightning nearby. Um, I do want to say how much I I like this grapple. I I considered all kinds of different ones, but I'm really happy with the purchase. So uh, uh, you know, I'll give you some more updates on this. We'll do some work with it here in one of these upcoming videos. I'd hope to do that tonight, but uh, I got to run now. So uh, we'll see what we get into when we get back to the garage. So we're back here in the garage and uh, this is darkening up even more. Actually, uh, I'll walk out here and kind of show you. Um, we're getting some real dark clouds. I just looked at the radar and uh, it looks like we have a wicked line of thunderstorms coming. So I think I'll just do a little filler talk here. Um, one thing I uh, did last night, I mixed up some more... Uh, Two cycle oil for the chainsaws you know I've, i use the uh, non-ethanol gas i i highly recommend that uh, i've had some problems uh, my atv had a problem with the ethanol um you know i actually buy uh, you know i have a i'll show you here six six pound can or six gallon can uh, it might even be seven and i fill that up and you know i usually dump some some sea foam in there just to stabilize it not that you really need to because it does last a long time but you know a lot of gas stations is getting that now you can you can usually get it and um it's really great to mix in the saws especially if you don't use them like i do i mean uh mine are running a couple times a week so i, I don't worry about it too much but if you let something sit you know you've got you've got some issues so second thing i'm going to talk to you about is fruit flies so here in the garage, I've had the fruit fly problem. It was created by me. Um, I left some uh, Bud Light orange cans sitting around. They attracted the fruit flies. Well, I got rid of the cans and the fruit flies remain. So I went out and I bought this little product here. It is uh, made by Raid. You uh, put some water in there, warm water. It mixes up. Keep it below that funnel and they're supposed to go down in there. Well, in 24 hours, I haven't caught a fruit fly, but they're around. I was sitting here before and uh, sure enough, they were flying all around my head, driving me crazy. So um, don't recommend that product too much. Uh, you know, it just seems uh, not to work very well, even though the, the reviews are good on it. Before and I show you the last thing that I was uh, wanting to show you, this is the package by Raid. And you know, this little apple is supposed to attract those fruit flies, but they don't seem interested at all. So uh, I think I probably wasted my money on this, but whatever. Anyway, what I did want to show you is, is I was working on this last night in the garage. Um, this is my first chainsaw. It is a Husqvarna, Husqvarna uh, 141. Uh, it's got a 16 inch bar. Um, you can see I still have the cover off. Um, it's uh it has literally cut probably 200 cord of wood um for the little saw that it is i don't think it was ever intended to do that anyway i um i don't know maybe about two years ago it it wouldn't run on high end and i was having problems with it um i i found that there was a uh, a break in the fuel line which is very common on a lot of chainsaws because the fuel line goes down through a little hole in the in the in the saw into the tank and, and right there it gets brittle and it breaks and it sucks in air so i replaced that once again i couldn't get it going so i invested in a new carburetor i don't know i just didn't want to part with this and so uh so anyway i i got it where it'll idle um but when you put it under uh under um, power when you squeeze the trigger it starts blowing gas back through the through the carb and filling the 
the air cleaner. So at this point, I believe the rings are, are shot in it. Um, I have to debate whether I put the money into a cylinder kit. I did find one online for like 12 bucks. And so I may just tear it apart and make a video out of it so everyone knows how to do that. But uh, I have to say, good little saw made it made me a believer in Husk Husqvarna chainsaws. Um, this is a, a homeowner saw. Obviously, today I run the professional saws, but uh, you know this thing is like 25 years old, and uh, it has been through it's been through a war. So uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, as you can, see, I'll show you here. Um, we're starting to see the rain come in and so my night of cutting wood is is over so i think i'm gonna go watch some youtube um i see that uh adam at hometown acres has got a new video up uh he was he was taking some time off recently uh to do some homeowner stuff i see uh chris out there in the wood yard has some things up and uh so uh i think i'll go watch those i even think uh, my buddy out there at the back back 40 uh, firewood has another video up so uh so i'm gonna go watch those we'll catch you the next time sorry this is probably not the most entertaining video it's not what i had in mind but uh we'll make the most of it see you soon